Skills is brought to you by FMF Imported Exhaust Systems. 100% goggles for 100% vision. And the bike buyers are standing by to purchase your motorcycle and fire it up in four ways. Welcome to the show. This time around, Bill Hunter sees how many horsepower three horses have. And later on, Monster TRP National Motocross from Harry Smith. Hold on tight. discovered a little gem. But I bet you're wondering what this is because you've definitely not recognised that name before. Well you might have if you recognise the Isle of Man. Crosby is in the Isle of Man and the TT400 actually started many years ago down the Crosby Strait, which is no more. Anyway, I digress. So this is a Crosby TT400. Now there's no denying that it comes from the Orient or should we say China. It's actually made by Shinnery. Now, Shinnery is one of the biggest factories in the world. They make over 300,000 motorbikes a year. And the biggest engine they make from there is this, the 400cc single cylinder, single overhead cam, but with four valves making around 30 horsepower. Now, if you're rubbing your chin and going, I recognise that engine, so you should, because Honda actually use it in their old XR400 and Yamaha used it in one of their SR 400 models. So, you know that there's nothing wrong with this engine, mister, and it will be certainly be very, very reliable. But let's have a little step back here, because what about the styling? Well, there's no denying it looks like a Triumph Bonneville, shall we say, hence the badge. <laughs> Which I don't think is a bad thing because retro is all the rage at the minute. Everyone's bringing out a retro bike. Well, not everyone, but a lot of people. And so why not make an affordable retro bike? We'll get to the affordable in just a while. But it has many features that actually stand out. One, it has a dry sump. So it's got a separate oil tank under this metal panel. And I say metal because everything's metal. Look, no plastic on this, mister. So, dry sump, because the XR motor used to have the oil carried in the frame, they decided to keep the kickstart to add a bit more retroism. And as a big air filter, apparently, so the service intervals are long. Talking of service intervals, one's just been serviced with 30,000 kilometres on it, and the guy has just bought one and rode to Neisner and back from Johannesburg with no problems whatsoever. Now, come here, folks, have a look at this. Do these look familiar? Well, they should, because Shinere actually make these for Piaggio. So you'll see exactly the same switch gear on Aprilia and Motor Gutsy. So, the guy from Neisner went all the way to Neisner and back and recorded 30 kilometers a litre, so it's in 110, 120 kilometers an hour. 13 litre tank, times three, 400 k's. Can you believe if you freewheel downhill? It is, let me just say, so easy to ride. This is simple beyond simple. No electronics beside the ignition. Oh yeah, it's got an electronic rev counter. So, so simple, five gears through traffic. They say it's the, what a brilliant commuter, which actually annoys me a bit because you can commute on a Goldwing or a Dakar bike. So, but anyway, let's not get in that argument. So, commuter probably, and it fits anyone. So, what would the drawbacks be in South Africa? Well, it's a new name. So, getting this name out there might be a little bit difficult to start with. But, once you ride the thing, you do actually realise that this is quite a quality product and well worth a look at if you entering into the new world of motorcycling, especially on a retro bike. You'll be wondering by now, where can you get one of these delightful little motorcycles? My good friend Pat of V Custom Cycles 
based in Pretoria, is the sole importer right now where you can own one of these. But the most interesting answer, and I know you're after it, how much is it then? Everyone we've asked has got it wrong because, believe it or not, this little beauty is under 45,000 Rand. Can you believe it? For all after the break.